In general, sport plays a huge role in society and in people's lives as well. Uh, the whole physical activity as aspect of sport in terms of enhancing people's health. Uh, and when you're involved in physical activity, obviously you're, you're healthy in your body and you're healthy in your mind. Sport is autonomous. Sport is, has their own system of development, the de of development. But it's true also that the European Union has contributed a lot to make it easier for sport organizations to, de to develop a continental sport. We all uh, really enjoy the big occasions and uh, for Ireland this year it's been hugely important in terms of the Six Nations winning that and, and the European uh, Cup. You know, whatever sport that it is, we see the effect that it has um, on the nation and I think that's a fantastic contribution that uh, sport has. Without these um, facilities that we have within Europe, with facilities regarding borders, regarding, regarding free movement, while we can be sure that sport would have not developed the way it, is, it exists to now, to today in the European continent. I have to as well compliment the great work that, that SARI does in relation to providing uh, sporting opportunities um, for people, and I'm very aware of the work they do here uh, in Ireland um, in terms of new communities coming into Ireland and disadvantaged communities as well. But I think um, Europe can play a vital role in progressing all of that in the work that they do. Hugely important is, is the white paper on, on sport and um, we're delighted that it's, it's highlighting the importance of physical activity. Uh, sport for all, which I think is critically uh, important uh, as well, that the, the total emphasis on sport isn't just on high performance, but there's an equal emphasis on uh, what opportunities we can provide for everybody uh, to be involved in sport and to ensure that nobody is marginalised um, or excluded, whether it's a person with a disability, um, whether it's somebody that lives in a disadvantaged area, whatever the disadvantage is, they have uh, an opportunity to participate. The European Union, with a white paper on sport, can also um, make sport to take much more advantage of these opportunities, including funding opportunities, that develop this social aspect and this uh, mass aspects of sports that reach everyone in Europe. It's not that easy for a person with a, with a disability and particularly for a person with an intellectual disability and oftentimes they need a mentor, they need a friend with them and they need extra supports put in place and that's where Special Olympics comes in because we can provide those resources, those extra supports that are needed to ensure that a person with an intellectual disability has the choice and the opportunity to participate in the same way as everybody else and why shouldn't they? Uh, without volunteers, uh, sport wouldn't survive, and we need to value the volunteers, recognise them, and, and the white paper does that. In fact, sport uh, um, is European, and Europe is the land of sport. Almost two-thirds of big sport events take place in Europe. Um, in other continents, there are not so developed championships in different sports, with like the Champions League, like the EuroLeague of basket, basketball, in other, it doesn't exist the same way in other continents. The movement between countries in terms of sport, in elite sport, in Europe is not comparable with any other continent.